all right so welcome back and thanks for tuning in to another video so today we're going to talk about how to repair fertilizer burn so stay tuned all right so here we go so this was the area that was affected by the fertilizer burn um when i used the scott's lawn food i actually went around spread it down uh, some fertilizer on my yard i got to this one area and the hopper spreader wasn't closed and too much fertilizer fell in this one area at the time i didn't notice that all the fertilizer was right there and by the time i did notice like maybe after it's been watered in and that was a scoop of fertilizer piled up in this one area i tried to get it up but it was a little bit too late most of it been watered down into the soil so it burned out this is how you know if it's burnt out here you're going to get grass that is kind of shrivel up and basically turn this brownish yellowish color so I know it's not a lawn disease because if it was a lawn disease, you would have took like grass blades and it would have been like brown spots on the actual grass blade. So I know it's a fertilizer burn because it's real hard, it's dry. It feels like kind of like straw or hay or something like that. And fertilizer burns happen because it's too much salt from an actual high nitrogen fertilizer being pushed too much into the soil too quickly. So it's forcing uh, top growth too quickly and the grass actually can't handle it from the too high of a salt content and it burns out so this is the area I'm gonna be repairing today basically it's a simple repair you're gonna make sure you get all this grass up now sometimes the grass will grow back on its own if it's deeply rooted and this area right here when I was pulling it out this area was dead but this area right here is pretty strong so it has a possibility of regrowing on its own all you got to do is keep water and water and water and it may bounce back in like two to three weeks but i'm gonna just go ahead and just fix this whole area it's a simple fix you want to make sure you get a bag of topsoil basic topsoil the grass seed you've been using all year you want to get something to break up the soil i got a garden weasel here and i'm going to use scissors I'm going to use these scissors just to cut out the rest of the dead grass here in this area. And um, that's pretty much it. So let's get to work. So as you can see, I got the long grass out. So now I'm going to use my garden weasel here to kind of break this up. So as you can see, you want as much soil as you can see exposed just like this. I cut out most of that dead grass. This is fine. This ain't going to hurt too much here as long as it's not too long. But that's about it here. That's a nice little seed bed that I'm going to create with my topsoil. You want to make sure you spread down enough soil here so after spreading down enough soil I'm gonna go ahead and blend this soil into the, the actual soil that's in the ground So, and you also want to make sure you don't get too much soil on your current grass because you do not want to smother the current grass out. But this is fine right here. Make sure you kind of even it out here. So now you created a little seed bed. So now you're going to take your grass seed.
And you just want to make sure you throw down enough seed here. So that's good enough here. Then you're going to go ahead and blend your seed in. Make sure you pat it down to even it out. All right, and there you have it. So now you done created and fixed the area that had the fertilizer berm. You created another seed bed. Now, if you want to go ahead and top it off with some peat moss, or maybe if you use a, a little bit of straw to cover it up, I'm not too worried about it. The grass seeds will germinate. Some of that's on the top probably will get eaten by birds if I don't cover it with peat moss. All right, so now I'm gonna cover it up. A little bit of peat moss. Now I like using peat moss because it is gonna cover the seeds and also when you're watering it's going to hold in a lot more water and help this bed germinate a lot better and then when it turns back to this little brown light brown color that's when you know you're going to need the water again because it's dried out now the soil underneath is going to hold the moisture but the top layer here will let you know that it needs to be watered again so i like to use peat moss here but like I said, you can use straw, you can use the hay, straw, whatever you use, or peat moss. I like peat moss. It's very simple, and it creates a nice little covering layer so the birds don't eat the seeds. Now, I mean, if you don't have straw or peat moss, just make sure you throw down enough seeds so because you are going to lose some to the birds if they see it. So, as you can see, we finished repairing the fertilizer burn area. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments or even any tips, you can leave it down in the comment section. Um, I appreciate you guys if you hit a like on this video, if you appreciate the video. Um, if you want more content and you want to hang around with me and see how my day-to-day -day on my yard and how everything is going, subscribe to the channel. So I appreciate you guys for tuning in every week. Um, very, very much appreciate it. I got more content coming and I hope you guys are doing well and take care.